The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, Eni Tommy here with a Transformer Studio Series 86, Transformers the Movie Unboxing. Today I'm going to take a look at Blur. He is one of the movie bots. Uh, looks fantastic in the packaging. I picked this up from Walmart along with Jazz and Cup. And stay tuned for Cup unboxing to come soon. So really I've gotten pretty much everything from 86 except for the Grimlock, which I'm hoping I can pick him up soon because uh, from all accounts he seems to be pretty amazing. Anyway, we're going to take a look at this bot. We're going to get him out of packaging. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to go through transform him into space car mode and take a look at what he comes with. Accessories. Looks like he has a weapon and something else, but let's start off with the packaging. All right. First here, we've got some artwork here on the front showing blur and a running pose with a rifle. Transformers, the movie. You got the figure itself with a white rifle and something else here inside. Studio 86 here on the side, Deluxe Class. On the back, we've got 18 steps. Big screen inspired scale, detail and backdrop. Blur defends Autobot City until reinforcements arrive. So we got actually a background of Autobot City, which is kind of cool because maybe I can incorporate that at some point. So backdrop included. Yeah, it looks pretty neat just based on this. The car mode looks really cool. I did have the... Um, the, what is it, Titan's Return version of Blur, and uh, this seems to be much better, just in, in first opinion, you know, first impressions here on the back of it. But here on the side, we've got another piece of artwork. There he is. And on the top, Transformers the movie. So let's get him out of packaging, take a look at everything. All right, here's the backdrop, Autobot City. Uh, this is actually pretty cool. I don't really do anything with these backdrops, but I say I like this one. This would, huh, I wonder if anybody knows where I can get this scene that I could make into a background, uh, let me know where I can get this actual picture. Maybe it's on Google or something. Somebody tell me where I can find this. I believe I might make a background of this. Uh, very cool. So it comes with directions. Show them how to transform in the space car mode. We've got all of this. And these are usually pretty good. They've done a good job. I'm not a big fan of the red and the black, but these seem to be much clearer than we've seen generally in the past. Um, the green and white really pops for me. I am colorblind in some colors. Um, so uh, the, the red, I mean, I can see red and all. It's the grays and the greens that really get me, but um, I really like those too. So we've got this little piece here, which is, I think, the welder. Uh, if I can remember from the movie, did he weld Ultra Magnus back together? I can't remember. I think so. I think that's what this is from. But put that in the comments because I can't remember that part of the movie. I know he got put back together, but maybe it was the Junkions. But what is this for? Tell me in the comments. I don't, I don't recall. And then he comes with his rifle. It's all white. Very nicely detailed. Long rifle here. Tons of detail. Looks good all the way around. They do a good job with this. And it translates well here. And then the figure itself. Wow. This is what I'm this is what I'm talking about. This this is this is exciting to me that this figure looks this good. I mean, this is a step above what Hasbro's been doing. I love the 86 movie cast and the bots they've been doing. They've done a fantastic job on Jazz. They've done, this just looks great. I mean, look at this, very tuned to me, very movie quality, just a solid feel figure. Look at this head sculpt. I mean, this is, this is really nice. Really, really nice. It's got kind of a, kind of a smile there. We've got the clear translucent with the white painted underneath, the Autobot symbol. Got the white, the blue, and the light blue. And look at the back here. I mean, this is very clean. It's a little bit of hollowness here in the back here, but really a part of a transformation issue. 
Let's take a look at articulation. We've got head on the ball. He can look down. He can look up. He can't go side to side, but he can look side to side. Arm goes out there. Rotates on the ratchet uh, all the way around. We've got elbow bend. We don't do we have we don't have at the upper arm, but we've got it at the bicep, and then we've got fixed hand that does not rotate. Does it? No, it doesn't because it's clipped in here. All right, we've got waist rotation. No ab crunch, but that's not to be expected on the style. We've got leg out to there on the front, leg all the way to the back, leg all the way to the side, more 90 on the knee, or right at 90. And then we've got an ankle rocker. Of course, they only do the one side here on these, but uh, that's really it for that. A little bit of hollowness here. All on this on the inside of the arm and this arm, but I can live with it when a figure looks this clean and this this style. I mean, this is why I, this is what really really pops for me. And you get to tell by how excited I am just talking. Let's lower this camera down. This is I I love the tune style of the bots, like whether it be masterpiece or third party or whatever it is. I like something that's not a not so much detail, but detailed and looking accurate to a cartoon or the movie. This really, really, really does it for me. So, solid, solid figure. And no really QC issues, I would say, that we've seen. That peg's here on the bottom. That's different. That feels good. Nothing loose. Solid figure. Very nice. Very excited to have this. All right, we're going to go through and transform him into space car mode and take a look at it. All right, let's start off by taking this back piece right here, flipping it up and over, covering his head, and there's a slot here and here. It's going to go right in there. All right, next step is you can go ahead and take this chest piece and rotate it around 180 and it just flips around like that. All right, next up is this piece will flip up and I gotta, I need a spudger, but I'm gonna take a knife and flip that down. Okay, next thing is we're gonna take the hands here and flip them up like this. Like that. Then you got this little panel I might need to adjust the camera because I'm down a little bit low. Let's bring it up here. Well, all right, we can fit it back. So take this, pop this piece down, pop this piece down, and take, extend the arm like that. Take and extend the arm like that. Okay. Next step, I'm going to take it. And rotate the arm around here at the bicep 180 like this. Spin this one around 180 like that. Go ahead and close this like that. You can see how that's starting to form the front of the car. Okay. All right, next up, we're going to take and do the legs. So this piece right here is on the hinge here on the side. You can just Pop it open like that. You can go ahead and take the feet and fold them down. Now this side has the antenna on it, so you know, pop that one out. And just fold it on out. Same way. Fold it down there. Little foot. And take this antenna and fold out like this. So now you know what you're gonna do. You're gonna fold it over, collapse it around like most of these other things tend to go. So go ahead and keep this out like that. And you can, I think we can go ahead and piece it together now. And then we're gonna fold it over. Or maybe we'll get a little bit closer and then do that. 
But yeah, it's going to wrap around that like that. So just piece these together. Like that. And there's the seat. And the seat keeps flipping down, but I got to fix that. So then you take these legs and just kind of fold them over here for right now. You can go ahead and, and clip them back because you're going to be doing something else with the feet here. All right, so you can go ahead and take, flip it over here and pull these out. This, I'd pull right here at this hinge just to, you know, put too much stress on it. Like that. And go here on the other side and do that. And then this piece here, there's one on each side. You can go ahead and fold it down. And I'll show you how the feet clip into that. Just want to get that foot out of the way to get it to slide, slide there. Same thing on the other side here. So, like that. All right, so if you look under here, there's a tab on top of the foot and the slot on the bottom of this blue piece. So you can go ahead and take and just tab those in right there like that you're gonna want to get a little bit straighter we gotta get this sorted out hold on you just want to make sure that's kind of even flatten it down because if you set it down and it's not kind of even it's gonna wobble and then basically now here these arms you just kind of fold them back there's a slot here tab here and tab here on the inside and you're just going to kind of tap all this together like that. And this is going to fold into that. And then you just do the other side. Same thing. Goes in like a nice little transformer should. Why am I talking like Bob Ross? I have no idea. You just tab that together. Like I said, this is the seat. <laughs> I can't get that to stay. All right, there we go. So then there's Blur. And what you do, you take his gun. If you want to do this, you don't have to do it, but it's an option. Uh, you take his rifle and plug it in here, bottom of this, or actually you can do it the other way. I think it looks, I think it looks better. Plug it into the nose and then the welder piece take and flip it around and there's two tabs there on the side and you got gun storage and that that's what I, I really like so i mean look at this you can see what i'm talking about mine is not perfectly even because you got a little bit of wobble so you can just play to it play with it till you get it straight and it's not the best surface either but man there's blur 86 studio series looks fantastic I think this looks much better than the Titans Return one. I like this one better. I like the weapon storage, the colors pop. I mean, it's clean all the way around. Uh, let's check out some, hold on one second. I just noticed something and I wonder, can we do this? Let me dig into the bag, the bag of blast effects. Let's see, will this work? I don't know, so you can take Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Some blast effects from freaking, um, what's the name, Skylinks? You can put blast effects on the end of there. You could grab your a stand. Here, it's just a, you know, put them in a stand or something like that, I don't know. It's a terrible, it's a terrible stand. Why'd I even try that? But anyway, you can do that. Yeah, blast effects, great looking figure. Looks great in both modes. Really excellent job. Very excited what Hasbro is doing with the Studio Series. So if you haven't picked one of these up, if you like G1 Transformers, if you like the 86 Studio Series bots, buy this. Don't don't even think about it. Just get it. I mean, I, I can't tell you what a impressive figure it is. It cleans up nice on the bottom. The transformation is, is while not super easy it's not over complicated but it's nice it's a good transformation i really like the spot so it's a must buy anyway guys 
I wanted to say thank you for watching the channel. Uh, subscribe to me if you haven't. I was on Kato's collection earlier today on the live stream, uh, trying to get to a thousand subs. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I really appreciate it. Trying to uh, increase my content level and get a lot more stuff out there. Um, you know, it's just a, a combination of, of factors here getting it going. But uh, check out the other Reject Cons, Kato's Collection, Larkin's Lair and Sardar Noon Spa 82. And we'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.